。跟住到第五條咧，就係、是、考下我哋 A、B、C、D 邊一個嘅結構啦，係可以喺個光顯微鏡咧係睇得見嘅。咁其實成條題目咧就考我哋兩樣嘢嘅啫。第一就係對於咧呢個細胞器大細嘅理解，第二啦就係、是、對於光學顯微鏡嘅放大率嘅理解。咁所以啦，我哋要留意一下咯，點解有啲嘢睇到，有啲嘢睇唔到啊？就係、是、如果佢太細嘅，咁咪用光顯微鏡咪睇唔到咯。咁唔用光顯微鏡去睇嘅，咁咪用電子顯微鏡去睇咯，係咪？其實成條題目最關鍵嘅咧，就係第一個 concept， 我哋對於個細胞器嘅大細嘅理解。A、B、C、D 咧，最大嘅咧，其實就係 corpus， 佢係最容易咧係睇得見嘅。咁所以啦，其實已經知得到。咁反而啦 ，ribosome 啊、mitochondria 同埋 ER 咧，佢哋咧都已經係要用到電子顯微鏡 （electronic microscope） 咧，先係可以睇得見噶啦。咁所以答案呼之欲出就係 boy。Let's take a look at the question five. So is asking which of the following structures would be observable in the above study? So in the above study, we are using light microscope to observe the protester, right? So actually, the concept checking in this question is a bit straightforward. The first one is talking about the size of the organelles, and the second one is talking about the power of magnification of the light microscope. So for the whole question, it's talking about some structures we can observe and some structure they cannot be observed. So the easy idea is that if they are too small to be observed, actually why cannot observe it? Because they are just too small to be observed by using the light microscope. So how can we observe them? So we need to use the electronic microscope, right? So that's why the very key idea in this question is talking about the size of the organelles. So if we can confirm which of the structure they are big enough to be observed by the、uh, light microscope, so we get the answer already. So that's why it's a bit by definition question. Corpus is big enough to be observed by the light microscope. But for the ribosome, for the mitochondria, for the ER, they are just too small to be observed by the light microscope. So that's why all these three structures they can be observed by using the electronic microscope. So that's why the answer is B.